Hi guys, welcome back to the Wiz Block. This is the Wiz Kid. Today we'll be looking at the transmission media or communication media. Now, what is the transmission media in a network? This is the means by which a signal moves from one network device or node to another. Now, the transmission media or communication media is divided into two categories. We have the guided guided and unguided guided media refers to cables and unguided refers to wireless now the guided is divided into three categories we have we have the twisted pair we have coaxial and the third category is fiber <laughs> twisted pair is further broken down into shielded twisted pair or stp and unshielded twisted pair or UTP. Let me show you an example of the unshielded twisted pair. This is an example of the unshielded twisted pair. Now with the unshielded twisted pair, <coughs> there are two copper wires. These are two copper wires and they are surrounded or insulated by a thin layer of plastic. The twisting prevents interference from the wires. They are normally used with the RJ45 connector. Let me show you an example of the RJ45. We use it a lot when we are setting up our network. This is the RJ45 connector. So these wires would connect. Now the shielded twisted pair is kind of similar to the unshielded twisted pair but it has a separate insulation in material between each pair so as you can see right here each pair of wire has a aluminum foil insulator this further prevents crosstalk or interference crosstalk is when the wires two wires uh, interfere with each other the unshielded twisted the shielded twisted pair is normally more expensive than the unshielded twisted pair now the shielded twisted pair or the unshielded twisted pair rather it's broken down into five categories now the first is category one the category one cables are used in telephone wires it's used for voice the category two or cat two they are used to transmit data up to four megabytes per second so data at four megabytes per second cat three is used to transmit data at 10 megabits per second or ethernet ethernet at 10 megabits per second cat four this is token ring use transmit data up to 20 megabits per second and cat five or fast ethernet which is what we really need use in our homes to get the internet it transmit data at 100 megabits per second okay as I said before if the shielded twisted pair is usually more expensive than the unshielded twisted pair um, because the shielded twisted pair is shielded allows the cable to run longer lengths than the unshielded twisted pair next added media is the coax right let me show you an example of the quark. I think we're all familiar with the coaxial cable this is how the coax look the coax cable has a central conductor this is here normally copper it's surrounded by um an insulating material this is normally called a dielectric material and then it's normally the dielectric is surrounded by an copper mesh and then that everything is encased in an outside insulation material coax cable it allow runs of distance of up to 500 meters and can support up to 100 nodes on a network. It's very resistant to interfox is more expensive than the twisted pair cables. Fiber or optical fiber this uses light pulses rather than electrical signals to transmit data. Normal made of glass or plastic has a small silicone core. So it has a small silicon core. The core is normally made of silicon and encased in uh, some light absorbent material plastic called cladding. So this is the cladding. It has further insulated materials. So as you would probably imagine, this is this type of media is hard to tap into, penetrate because once you break the core and the signal is lost it's much more secure than the than the two other categories of transmission media there are, there are five forms of optical fiber forms of optical fiber first one is the multi mode multi mode mode with this with this form of um optical fiber the light comes in at, at a variety of angles and the bandwidth is less than 200 megahertz let's use b to represent bandwidth the bandwidth is less than 200 megahertz the second form is known as multi-mode 
graded index with this mode the fiber bends signals as they approach the cladding instead of reflecting them this supports a bandwidth between the range 100 megahertz to 3 gigahertz per kilometer so be at 100 megahertz 3 gigahertz per kilometer our third mode is called a single mode single mode is normally supposed the highest bandwidth because the diameter as in this central core right here is reduced only allowing one light signal to pass. This supports bandwidth up to 50 gigahertz per kilometer. Fourth mode is the breakout cable. Breakout cable, this has several fiber. Each has its own cladding and a jacket surrounded by a larger jacket. What this means, let's say this is the fiber. Oh, I don't have the example. Okay, let's say this is a, this is our fiber cable, right? Each fiber is surrounded by its own cladding. It will be surrounded by this little section right here, each fiber cable will be surrounded by this sliding as well as its own um, jacket and then we have let's say we have 12 fibers in the cable then each each individual fiber will have its own jacket and all 12 will be surrounded by a larger jacket that is what the breakout cable or other type is called the distribution cable now the distribution cable is really a breakout cable in a larger jacket that is a distribution cable in a larger jacket final is called the loose cable loose cable now the loose cable has one to twelve fibers that are floating inside a loose tube filled with a gel that's what the loose cable does next go on to unguided media well, let's try and clear up this workspace on guided media okay so the unguided media uses electromagnetic waves and the signals are broadcasted through free space so we use electromagnetic waves and they are transmitted through free space now the wireless signals travel by either ground sky or line of sight ground waves or radio waves that travel sky ground waves as i said ground waves travel close to the ground um sky waves travel at high frequency waves in the ionosphere Ray there are radio waves, radio waves between the range 3 kilohertz, 3 kilohertz to 1 gigahertz, 3 kilohertz to 1 gigahertz. Next, we have the line of sight. The line of sight are very high frequency signals that travel in a straight line. They're normally microwave, 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. And that's really communication media slash transmission media in a nutshell. Now, thanks for watching and see you next time.